How's it going? It's Sam Frost here, back with some more digital marketing advice. Now in today's short video, I want to talk about the importance of periodically checking and reviewing your sort of access control and permissions for anything that you deal with in a digital marketing context. So that could be website logins, uh, Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, ad accounts, Facebook Business Manager, all that kind of stuff. I would strongly recommend that after you watch this video, you go away and you look at the different platforms that you use with your business in a digital context and just double check have you got access properly secured? Um, if there are other people who've got access, should they still have it? And do you have any kind of backup plan or pathway if access were lost for some reason? So I'll give you a couple of examples that I've seen recently. Uh, one is a business I've been working with, uh, you're just on a sort of consulting project. They had an old staff member set up their Google Analytics basically and install it on their site under a old Universal Analytics property. And it's been running on this client's old site for a while and then the uh, code or the sort of analytics ID was taken and installed via Tag Manager on the new site that they released not too long ago. Now all good there, the data's collecting fine in the sense that you can see it through Google's Tag Assistant, but the problem is that nobody else apart from that old staff member actually has access to that Google Analytics property that has all of the data kind of collecting in it. They basically just collected data and not really worried too much at the time because of the stage the business was at. They just wanted to collect a bit of data. They never really thought they would need analytics too much. But now they want to go back and review well, what's actually happened, what pages do people look at and so on. And all this data that's been collected is sitting in a Google Analytics uh, ID that basically no one apart from this staff member who seems to have vanished off the face of the earth has access to. So this is the kind of thing that could have been avoided if right at the start, you know, especially if you've got employees or team members or contractors or whatever working for you, say, okay, if you go and set up Google Analytics on my behalf, I'd also like to have admin access as the business owner. Uh, same with Tag Manager and those kind of things, because otherwise you can wind up in this nasty situation. And I've seen it happen more than once. This is not the only time I've seen it, where basically that access gets lost because yeah, a staff member disappears or you know you stop working with an agency and there's a falling out and they won't respond to your emails or whatever the case may be. So you want to really make sure that if you're not the only person in your business, it's a little bit different if you know, you're know you a sole trader or whatever, you're running your own website. If I look at my own website for my business, I'm the only person who has access to analytics for it because I don't work with anyone else who needs access. But certainly clients I work with with there's multiple team members and you might have dealt with agencies and freelancers in the past, make sure that there's not some uh, you know old agency you've worked with who set up your analytics for you and suddenly you find they go out of business and you can't contact anyone there and you can't get your admin access restored. Uh, because maybe, and I do see it happen far too often, you know, they set up the admin and add you even as just a view only user or something like that. And so you can't go and then, you know, make substantial changes to conversion tracking or add other users yourself or anything like that. And it can cause a whole load of problems. Same applies with platforms like Google Ads and, and Facebook Ads and all sorts of things. Uh, Facebook's a really interesting one because you can run into all sorts of access issues with uh, account restrictions or profile restrictions being applied. And in fact, uh, an old sort of uh, friend and colleague of mine uh, actually posted something the other day where they're having a challenge where basically what happened is they were the only uh, admin on a particular business manager and then were restricted at a personal profile level from doing Facebook advertising and using Facebook business products. Something that's happened to me in the past, but I was luckily able to get it uh, sort of reversed. First time it happened, it was an error, and the second time this happened, uh, actually it was just a time-based thing. But this particular person, uh, they were banned from Facebook's business platform, uh, at least on an advertising capacity, way back in 2020 and never got the issue resolved, and it hadn't been a problem for them because they were still able to organically post to the page in question that they cared about. They just didn't bother with ads, but now they want to run some ads and now they want to go in and add some other users to the business manager to do other things like look after advertising and uh, share posting permissions and all those kind of things. Can't do it and they can't get hold of anyone at Facebook. So with this uh, person who's had this challenge, had they got multiple people in that business manager, other team members, then at least they would be able to go in and make the adjustments and changes as required and sort of work around it. So basically whatever it is you do, uh, whoever it is you're working with, whichever platforms you're using, make sure your access is correct. Make sure you've got the right level of access. So if you're the business owner, you should always ideally have some sort of admin access or a way to get admin uh, so that you don't find the situation where yeah, an agency, uh, you know, finishes up their contract with you and then the person at that agency who set up your Google Analytics account, they've left 
and it was set up under their email and their work email gets shut off and suddenly you can't get the uh, account restore emails sent to that email inbox. I've seen that happen with Instagram, for example. Um, all sorts of things like this could happen. Just periodically reviewing your access will stop that from happening. It's really important to do because you don't want to suddenly get caught in the lurch and find you can't change ownership or access or anything like that. Same goes with things like paid ad accounts as well. Um, you know, that's why it's ideally preferable if you are running, say, Google Ads, that you would actually pay directly uh, Google's bill on your business credit card or via invoice if you're spending enough money with them, rather than going through, say, an agency who's actually billing on your behalf. Because typically what will happen is if you had a dispute over account ownership, Google will often side with whoever actually pays the bills, at least in my experience, or at the very least, it would make the process of getting account access restored quite unpleasant. So yeah, just encourage you after you watch this video to go away and Basically write down a list of everything you use, analytics, tag manager, website, login, email marketing, all those things. Have you got the right access? Uh, who controls the admin access? If there are ways you can enhance security like having uh, two-factor authentication set up, make sure you go and get that set up. Do all of that and that's going to make your life a whole lot easier when you suddenly find you've got to change an admin permission or add someone new because you're working with a new agency or freelancer or staff member, whatever the case may be. Get this stuff wrong and it can cause a lot of stress. I've seen it happen too many times. If you've got any questions, please do let me know. You can email me on info at samfrost.co.nz at any time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.